please, put me out of my misery, man. How are you still around? Like, please. <laughs> Do you hate me? This plant hates me. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and this is my channel where I talk about all the houseplant things. I'm so excited because today we are going to be talking about some plants that I wouldn't mind if they died, which might be a little controversial. So <laughs> this video is also sponsored by Case Device, so we will talk a little bit more about them later. I wanna start this off by saying I have a rather large houseplant collection and I don't often kill plants anymore. Like I, I do this series called Plant Funeral and every year I feel like I have less and less deaths to report on and that's just a side effect or like a, a positive side effect of me just learning how to take care of plants better and better each year, not buying plants that are not suitable for my collection and my habits. But at the same time, I'm not perfect. And there are definitely plants in my collection that I hold on to because maybe I feel a little bit guilty or I'm like, maybe it'll pull through and look better eventually. We, we hold on to plants for funny reasons, silly reasons. We just hold on to plants sometimes. And these are all plants that I have for some reason held on to, despite not really liking them all that much. And I'll, I'll explain why in each of the plants, but a lot of these situations, the plant is not suitable to give to somebody else. Like I would not want to give it to somebody else in this condition because it's just, a sad plant and why would I put that on somebody else? You know what I mean? So I'm sure that everybody can relate. I'm sure that everybody has, or maybe not everybody, but I'm sure that some of you have a handful of plants that you're like, I don't really want this plant, but I feel bad trashing it, but I also feel bad giving it to somebody else. So that's the category that we're working with here, okay? <laughs> the president of that category is this Anthurium Ace of Spades. And Listen, I got this in an import, my very first import ever. This was like a, an extra that they just added in. And I really, really love the idea of Ace of Spades. I've seen photos of them when they're bigger and just like different forms of the Ace of Spades, like the dark form Ace of Spades, I think I've seen. And they are really cool plants. And that is the reason that I hold on to this. Like I, fungus gnat, sorry, I would feel really guilty getting rid of it because like it could become a really cool plant, but it hasn't. Like it lived most of its life in a plastic bag, literally. Uh, well, not most of its life. Let's say its happiest life in a plastic bag. And I can't have my plants living in plastic bags forever. Like that's just not something that I want to do. So whenever the greenhouse is done, I'm probably gonna move this out there. And if it doesn't make it, it just doesn't make it. You know, I don't know why or how it is still holding on because this plant, how are you still around? Like, please, do you hate me? This plant hates me. It has a vendetta against me, it wants, to bring me down. I don't know why it's still living. Like it's just still living out of spite. It doesn't make any sense. Wow, I didn't think I'd be so passionate about the topic, but here we are. So yeah, Anthurium Mesa Spades. I don't know why it's still alive. I don't know how it's still alive, but it is. And I feel guilty giving it to somebody else because it's such a silly plant, but here we are. Okay, the next plant, this one I feel a little guilty about, but I stopped watering it a long time ago and it's somehow still alive. And you know what, it might not be alive. I'm not even sure, but this is a string of hearts, um, a rather stringy string of hearts at that. So it's, the, the pot is like basically just this. It's like, I don't know, 10 strands and it's really soft. Like I've missed it in like the last two waterings, but I think with this plant, I've just like lost my love for it because it's always been kind of a weird string of hearts. Like the leaves were always like very thin. They weren't super thick. I currently have a variegated string of hearts and just seeing the way that that one is growing versus this one, I'm like, hmm. This one has always been a little off and I don't really know why, but I got this on my road trip to California in March. So this is one of the plants that I got like pretty early on. That was March, 2019. And I, ugh, I, I wanna love it. I wanna like be sad that it's gonna die. But I mean, I am the one sabotaging it to that point. Um, it's quite long and it has been one of those plants that I've shared with others. So that's really fun. I know that it lives on in other people's collection. That makes me feel a little bit less guilty about wanting it gone. But this isn't a plant that I would confidently give to somebody else. You know what I mean? It's just not, 
it's not giving what it needs to be giving <laughs> in order to give it to somebody else. So I just hold on to it. And like, even if it's kind of dead, it looks pretty good on the wall still. Like you can't tell if it's like super high up, <laughs> which is pretty bad, but like, I don't know. You can't tell that it's dying slash dead. So like, does it really matter? Like it's just taking up space up there, you know? So until they get like really crispy and looking really bad, I'm probably gonna leave it on the wall. <laughs> so cheers to that. <laughs> Let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Casetify. So if you're looking for a new phone case, Casetify is absolutely the place you should look, especially if you're getting the iPhone 14 because they have a new technology called EcoShock, which is just more protection for our precious phones. EcoShock has increased drop protection up to 11.5 feet, and this case is five times the standard for military grade protection. You might be thinking that this case would be really bulky, but something that I really love about case to buy cases is that they are super protective, but they are never bulky. They always have a very sleek look where, you know, the case looks good and it's protecting your phone. So you don't have a lot of extra stuff hanging off of the actual phone. And if you like these beautiful designs, they work with over 300 artists throughout the world to come up with these awesome designs. So this is one that I really like. This one is by Ice Cream Color. And then another favorite of mine is Bodil Jane and they have these really awesome like summary and this one is a houseplant print. Their phone cases and specifically their iPhone 14 cases are made with 65% recycled materials and also partially made up of old phone cases through their Recasetify program where they give new life to post-consumer waste. So if you're interested in checking out Casetify for your new iPhone 14 or any previous models, you can head to the link in the description box below and use the code plants for 15% off. Okay, so this is a plant that I'm not necessarily excited for it to die, but I wouldn't care if it did because I know it would be really easy to replace. So that's like another facet to this video. Like there's definitely plants where I'm like, please die so I don't have to like put me out of my misery, you know? But with this one, this is a watermelon peperomia. Sorry, I didn't say that. And I love watermelon peperomia. I'm not a huge fan of peperomia as I've shared in the past. There have been people who have been kind of converting me. So I'm gonna try out some other peperomia and see how I do. But this one is just a big favorite of mine. It's probably my favorite peperomia because it's so striking. But I do find that after having one for a while, it just starts to look kind of bad. And that's with most peperomia that I've had. Like after a while, it just stops doing what it needs to do and it just starts looking kind of bad. So I think that it's just a peperomia thing for my collection. I don't know if anyone else has ever experienced that but I've been collecting houseplants for a couple years and you know, after I've had a peperomia for like one to two years, it just sort of starts to look scraggly and I'm like, eh, let's replace it. You know what I mean? It's like cut flowers, you replace them after a while. And I feel like it's like this, but this is like a really long form cut flower arrangement. And it's also kind of how I treat my Fetonia. Like you guys know, I have my big Fetonia bowl. Let me grab it. Actually, this was silly of me to just be like, oh, let me grab it. It's very heavy. Anyway, you guys know that I have this. I would be really gutted if this died. Like I'd be really, really sad. But at the same time, I know it would be pretty easy to replace. You know what I mean? So. This doesn't necessarily count for this video because I would mind if this died, but it's easily replaceable, you know what I mean? And you kind of expect your Fetonia to die after a while because you will inevitably mess up your watering schedule and like miss this one or go on vacation and it didn't like that and it'll die. And it's not a big deal to replace it. <sighs> now that I'm winded from picking up a 20 pound plant, we're back to this. <laughs> so yeah, I just think they look really pretty when they're like fresh out of the greenhouse and I wouldn't mind replacing this one even as it is right now, but I'm gonna wait until it looks like really bad because um, it's still putting out new growth and like the new growth looks okay. So we're gonna hold off on trashing it for a while because she's got some life left in her, but whenever these die, I'm just really not sad about it. I just pick up a new one, you know? It's not like a super sentimental plant to me. Sometimes I get attached to the individual plant and other times I'm more attached just to the idea of the plant. And this is definitely uh, an idea of the plant situation. All right, do I even need to bring it up? You guys already knew I was gonna bring up my string of turtles. This plant is so weird. 
I have wanted to love this plant for a long time and I, I've brought it up enough times to where I've probably heard every suggestion for what to do to make it happier and I've done all of them long term and none of them have made this plant look better. So for example, give it a bigger pot. Okay, so I did that, give it this bigger pot. Okay, next tip was give it higher light. Okay, I did that in the greenhouse cabinet, give it higher humidity, greenhouse cabinet. It was taking up valuable real estate in the greenhouse cabinet and it was doing nothing, okay? So the turtles, if you haven't seen this plant before, the turtles are really, really small and stringy and just, it looks gross, okay? See, I think it looks good like up at the top here, like by the terracotta, but just because it's the green against the terracotta, like I, I like the way that looks. But then you get down here and you're like, ew, like what happened? So actually somebody did suggest like wrapping this up like in here and I might do that. Like maybe I'll like chop this and then wrap it up in a pot and see if it starts making bigger turtles. But it's just one of those plants where I'm like, why is it still alive? Like I don't, <laughs> these plants are supposed to be like really sensitive and like, don't get me wrong, it's not producing good growth, but it is still putting out growth. And I'm just like, why? I don't do anything for you. Like what's going on? Like why are you still alive? Doesn't make any sense to me. So I, live my life in confusion that this plant is still around but again it's one of those plants that like it's green it's a long trailing plant so it kind of looks cool from far away so it'll be a good one for the wall but other than that i am just like not interested in this it's even like annoying that i have to water it if it's just going to be one of those plants that's just like good for the wall like i don't really care about it i really wouldn't care if it died because it would put me out of my misery it would put it out of its misery and this is definitely not a plant that I could like give to someone and be like, here's your string of turtles. Cause they'd look at it and be like, what is wrong with these turtles? Like, why does it look like that? I've ranted about this plant so many times. My regular viewers are probably like, let's get a new personality trait besides hating this specific uh, peperomia. But you know what? This is now a, a integral part of my personality is hating this plant, okay? I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Okay, the last plant that we're gonna chat about in this video is my Anthurium forgettii. And I feel like my reasoning for this speaks for itself. Like, what is going on? What is this plant doing? Okay, so it's ugly, number one. I don't love that. I feel like, uh, see, it makes me upset because like in my mind, I'm like, oh, I could just replace it and get a new Anthurium forgettii and have one that like looks better. But Anthurium forgettii are not exactly cheap and I already have one. So like it feels wasteful to get rid of this one. I mean, this is one where I feel like I could get rid of it and give it to somebody or sell it and it would be fine because like, you know, it has a leaf and it's a strong plant. But at the same time, I'm like, it's kind of weird. And like, would somebody really want this? So this is one of those plants where I'm like, if it died, I wouldn't really care that much because I would feel less guilty about just going and buying a new one, which is exactly what I would do because I love the Anthurium forgettii. These leaves are so cool. Like this might be one of the most unique houseplant leaves that I've ever seen. Like it doesn't have like a sinus right here. There's no ears, it's just like full circle. That's absolutely incredible. Like I'm obsessed with that. Um, but just generally this plant looks weird. And I think that's what my issue is, is like, I don't like that it looks weird. <laughs> uh, it's so superficial. Honestly, that's the most superficial thing ever. But just look at it. What is going on? She's funky and not in a good way you know she's not like weird girl at school quirky listens to good music she's like you know she doesn't listen to the good music she like brings a jar of pickles to lunch and eats that like <laughs> it's just a weird plant and i don't like it and i would not care if it died i'm serious i just would not care please Put me out of my misery, man. Oh, uh, okay, but the only upside to this plant is that it blooms pretty often. I don't know why. I mean, you know what? I guess it is kind of happy, all things considered. We've got three leaves here. One of them looks pretty bad because it's really old, but the other two look pretty good. This one looks pretty good. It's standing up straight. I think I don't like that it kind of does this like pendant thing. I would rather them stick straight up like this. I think that would just look so much better, but these leaves just like, 
took a dive down and I don't really know why. But anyway, I think if the next leaf comes out and it is also like up, I will feel a lot better. Um, this one I kind of trained to be up, like I leaned it up against another plant. So it kind of, as it was hardening off, it was forced to stand up a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing with the next leaf that comes out and see if it will look a little bit better for me. And then once the next leaf comes out, I'll cut off these ones and then we will have a plant that I feel a little bit better about. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, Anthurium forgetii. Forget about her. For forgetii about her. No, that joke didn't land. Okay. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love talking shiz about my plants. Like it really is so much fun. Uh, if you like talking shiz about your plants. <laughs> okay, I'm literally in a room alone, in my house alone, laughing at what I'm saying to a camera. It's a lot more sad when I describe it that way. In my mind, we're all laughing together and that makes this a less sad situation. But anyway, if you have any plants that you wanna talk shiz about, you can leave a comment down below and we'll talk about them together. If there's a plant that you're like, I'm done with it, but for some reason I'm still holding on to it, that's the category that we're working with here. I have others that I could talk about. We could definitely do a part two. If you guys like this concept, I, as I was like gathering plants for this video, I was like, wow, I've got a lot to say here. Maybe I just need to get rid of some stuff. Maybe I need to get rid of all of the plants that I just talked about besides the watermelon peperomia. I don't know. We might do a, um, a downsize of the collection sometime soon. I think that I need to do that. But anyway, all this being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you being here and chatting with me and hearing me out on all of the reasons that I am not really into these plants anymore. Go ahead and check out Case to Buy in the description box below if you haven't already. Love their phone cases. I think you will too. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.